Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano and today we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy A23 4G and so I've been using this device for around seven months right now and there's some exciting news that I want to share with you about this device because it keeps getting better over time, especially with Samsung's updates that they've been releasing. But honestly, this is a device that would suit a lot of people when it comes to this phone because it's coming in at a price that many people should, you know what I'm saying, check out at, at under $200, $191. Or if you check the link down below, I'll make sure I leave the cheapest link down below. But we're gonna be jumping into the battery performance as well as the cameras, the software update to One UI 5.0, Android 13. And we're gonna be jumping into the performance and some of the new features on Android 13. But make sure you guys stay locked into the end of the video. And if you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. So let's just start off with the overall build quality of this device. Now, it's a pretty wide phone. But it's very tall at the same time, but it's gonna give you a nice weight at 195 grams of weight and it's plastic. So it does have a really nice feel in the hand with a glossy back around the rear. So there is sort of a raised hump on the back of it. So if you lay it flat on the table, it's not gonna be completely sturdy, but it, this device does give you a nice display when it comes to the overall display quality because it's a 20 by nine aspect ratio. So it's got a side mounted fingerprint sensor. This model has 64 gigabytes, but you can also get the one with 128 gigabytes and four gigabytes of RAM, okay? Now, it's also got a 6.6 .6 inch display, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna get into that in just a second because it's got a 1080 by 2408 resolution, full HD plus display. And it does have a 90 Hertz refresh rate on here. So when it comes to scrolling and browsing all your apps on here, it's gonna be really fast. And it also does have enhanced processing, which apps actually makes the apps run quicker in the background and um, definitely makes them open up a lot faster when you have that turned on. So I think that's solid, but it's got 405 pixels per inch, which is really nice. So it's gonna get bright outdoors, but it's got an LCD panel, the IPS display, but it's not AMOLED, but the colors are super accurate and super um, punchy when it comes to the overall quality of the display. And it's got this little teardrop notch at the top, type C on the bottom, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, microphone above top, and a microphone below with a single firing speaker. So the overall feel of this device in the hand is gonna be absolutely uh, sturdy, very you know easy to hold. You could use it um, very good with one hand, but I just really like this device when it comes to the overall build quality. It's got a really beautiful panel and it's got Gorilla Glass 5 for protection on the front. So it's gonna be a really solid phone if you're looking for a budget phone and you wanna get the latest features, latest software, and experience some really good hardware and software with Samsung's budget A-series line. But if you're still here, I just wanna remind you to um, hit the like button down below. I just wanna remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people. But if you're still here, just comment down below and say, I'm still here in the comment section so I know you're still kicking it with me, okay? But now I wanna talk about the battery of this device. Now, this is my first day running on Android 13, One UI 5.0, and I've been using the device for pretty much all day using the cameras, the, um, just testing this thing 
pretty heavily. I'm at 42% and it's like 7, 7, 28 p.m. But it's running on the latest software of Android 13. And so I would say that the battery life, if you're doing like what I was doing today, which was pushing it to its max, you're going to still get a full day of battery life with this thing. But I really like the battery on here because you will get some pretty decent battery on here. So you won't have to complain about the battery. But I was honestly able to get a full day of battery life um, in the past. And so I still will have to test out the battery life and see how it runs um, for a couple of days, not just one day. OK, but let's just jump into the cameras because I really enjoy the cameras on this device. And you're going to get a triple camera set up with a with an extra camera, which is going to be a portrait camera for, you know, I'm saying taking um, bokeh effect as well as macro camera with two megapixels and the portrait camera has two megapixels and then you get the five megapixel wide angle camera which is going to be good for taking 120 degrees of um you know what i'm saying perspective in front of you field of view so that's going to be pretty solid when you're looking at outdoor scenes and you want to get the whole entire image Hey, what's going on guys? So this is the rear facing camera on the Samsung Galaxy A23. So let me know how it's picking up my voice as well as my overall view movements and let me know how the lighting is in the outdoor environment. Alright? Hey, what's going on guys? So this is the front facing camera on the Samsung Galaxy A23. So just let me know how the microphone sound in the outdoor environment. And let me know how it's picking up my movements and everything to that extent, okay? So make sure you stay locked into the end of the video because we're going to be jumping into the features and the performance. OK. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about is the actual new features that we get on this device. And one of the, the new ones is that you can actually get the swipe widgets on here, which is really cool because you can get when you long hold a widget it, it lets you add a stack. And so you're able to basically add widgets in a stack and basically they're scrolling uh, they're letting you scroll the widget across so that now you don't have just one widget but you can have like three or four in one which is something that i really do enjoy and they do also have another feature in here which was enhanced inside of it advanced features and so if you go to labs you're going to see that you have multi window for all apps which was on here but now they have swipe for pop-up view so if you swipe from a right hand corner you can actually sh shrink the screen which is something that i really like and you could also make it bigger but when you swipe up with two fingers now you can get to the split screen window which is something that i think is some really cool and so it's going to have um some really nice uh, features when it comes to this thing for multitasking you still get the edge panel as well on the side for multitasking and get into apps a lot quicker so i definitely think this device does have a nice performance when it comes to the variety of features you could swipe down and get one-handed mode and it allows you to navigate with one hand as well so if you were typing with one hand you could just do a quick swipe down and now you can easily swipe on this device and text or whatever you're trying to do okay so 
like I said, it's going to pack everything that you need as far as the features. They got smart view on here for pairing it to your, you know, monitor or whatever. And then you got Dolby Atmos for Bluetooth and headphones um, with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And I like that this device does have NFC so you can add your digital wallets and make content contactless payments. And that comes in handy because I remember last week I left my wallet behind, but I still had my debit card linked to the phone, which was something that was really convenient because I could still make purchases in store and at the ATM, I could still withdraw money. So that's another feature that I think is really gonna be helpful with this device. But, you know, obviously this device will be giving you the secure folder um you know um and just a bunch of other features on here as well that make it really nice they also have something that's called modes at the top that i did notice where if you go into modes it says sleep drive and exercise relax and work so it has a bunch of different modes that you can set the device for which is something that i did notice was new and if you use this device on power savings mode you're going to get much more out of the battery and so you're going to be able to squeeze much more battery out of this thing but i did notice that if you look at the home screen um, wallpapers now they have something in here where if you click wallpaper and style after long pressing the panel you can go to your color palette and they've added more options for your highlighted icons and background colors and stuff like that so i think that's something that's cool because now you can actually see more different options to, to customize the colors and stuff like that and then it has some new wallpapers i noticed which was cool graphical colors and they they look really nice and then right here you can get dynamic lock screen and you know samsung global goals on here too as well but obviously this is going to be improved from the android 12 is going to be a lot better than android 12 in my opinion much more quicker snappier and less shutter lag when it comes to the camera all the apps seem to launch quicker and stuff like that now the last thing i want to talk about is the performance when it comes to like you know gaming and doing heavy things on this device because we do get the snapdragon chipset on here which is going to give you a powerful chip it's got a um snapdragon 680 and it's got the Adreno 610 for the graphics. And so if you're running PUBG on here, you're going to be able to pretty much, you know, I'm saying be really good when it comes to keeping up with other competitors. It's got the gyroscope, the ultrasonic um, proximity for really for, for really good gaming barometer, compass, accelerometer, light sensor, fingerprint sensor, and it has facial recognition and a fingerprint, too. But I think that the Samsung Galaxy A23 4G is going to be a complete budget device for the price and especially since they've launched Android 13 with the you know One UI 5.0 on here it's going to make it a lot more better overall so let me know what you guys think about the Samsung Galaxy A23 LTE in the comment section and if you found this video helpful make sure you hit the like button and um I just want to remind you to um, you know what I'm saying check out more videos, but I'm gonna get right back with you and I'll check you guys later. Okay. Peace